Hello, my name is Kara Ferris, and for my artifacts presentation, I'm going to be presenting about learning disabilities and disorders and types of learning disabilities and their signs. Um, the article I will be focusing on is learning disabilities and disorders. The reason why I chose this article is for my artifacts presentation is because I myself suffer from learning disabilities and many of times I've had to explain my disorders to teachers and classmates. Yet from witnessing teachers and students reactions I've noticed that it is hard for others to completely understand without knowing facts and examples. There are many various types of learning disabilities and all of which can have a tremendous impact on the way we learn and to read and write. I thought it would be interesting to get a closer look at what learning disabilities entail and hopefully cause an awareness of disabilities so people can respect students with disabilities and understand the learning styles in the classrooms and the way it affects learning and learning how to read and write. To start out, there are two different types of learning disabilities. For example, dyslexia, the basic reading problems, which occur when there is difficulty understanding the relationship between sounds, letters, and words. Reading comprehen comprehension pr problems occur when there is an inability to grasp the meaning of word words, recognition, understanding words, and ideas, reading speed, and generally vocabulary skills. Also, people who, ha who have the same problem but with numbers is called dyslexia. Thus, these students struggle with no reading numbers, which can make it difficult in certain subjects. On the other hand, students with writing disabilities also have discernment, which is a learning disability in which um, can involve physical acts of writing and middle activity of comprehending and synthesizing information. Basic writing disorders refer to physical difficulty forming words and letters. Expressive writing disabilities indicate a struggle to organize thoughts on paper. Students with, with this <coughs> disability typically also have problems with knee handwriting, copyright, copying letters and words, correct spelling and keeping the writing organized. Secondly, there are other lesson, learning disabilities which include motor skills, which is called dyprexia. Students with dyprexia have issues with motor coordination. Dyprexia deals with physical abilities that require hand-eye coordination. For example, this for example, like holding a pen or buttoning a jacket. Next, there are learning disabilities which, in which people are unable to produce spoken language, which is called apresia or dyprezia. Students with dyprezia will have issues with such as retelling stories. Lately, lastly, auditory and visual processing problems in which that person and or eyes or ears have problems with delivering that information. Um, so their eyes or ears are not working properly and then their learning style can suffer. Lastly, it's important to note that all these issues in schools do not come from learning disabilities. Other problems that can affect have affect learning how to read and write include anxiety, depression, stressful events, emotional trauma. For example, ADHD and autism are sometimes confused with learning disabilities, though many of the issues the students are facing go hand in hand. For example, ADHD, which is attention deficit disorder, is not considered a learning disability, but students with ADHD have problems focusing, following instructions, staying organized, and finishing homework. Students with autism have problems communicating, reading body language, learning basic skills, making friends, and holding eye contact. All in all, students have dis who have disabilities constantly have to figure out new and intuitive ways to learn how to read and write. Yet, do you think that people with disabilities are treated different in the classroom? Or do you know anyone with a learning disability and how does this affect them in the classroom? Learning disabilities are sometimes that many people do not take into consideration, but does not mean that these students are unable to learn how to read and write. It just makes it a little harder and takes them a little longer possibly to learn how to read and write. Or the students will have difficulty have a different learning style which makes it easier for them to learn. So considering all different types of learning styles in the classroom can really affect the environment and um, to always take into consideration other people's learning styles. So I hope you all enjoyed and hopefully um, 
you'll learn something new about learning disabilities and how um, it affects learning how to read and write and literacy.